This video has been hinted for a few months now, and I think people kind of overestimated the true length of this video, but it's really not going to be that long. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about who I deem to be the three kings of vanilla. And no, I don't mean the ice cream, even though that's goaded too. I'm obviously talking about the genre that's made plenty of people fall in love with reading doujinshis in the first place. Including me. I mean, yeah, I like yandere's and NTRs and straight up degeneracy, but I won't forget the roots of where I came from. It's like me not forgetting Naruto. It's not in my top 5 of my anime list, but I'll never forget how it is what started my journey of checking these guys out in the first place. So anyways, the reason why it's taken me months to make this video of determining the three powerhouses of wholesome doujinshis is because there are just way too much that you can choose from. And it was kind of hard to decide on the final answer. Dropping the likes of Kurihara Kenshiro, Syokaki, Suruga Kuroitsu, Simon, Dani Maru. Yes, you heard that right. Dani Maru did not make the list, and I'm shocked. But I'll get into detail about it later. And after thinking of all the factors that determine the statuses, I finally finished my definitive answer of who deserve to be crowned as the Three Kings of Vanilla. Let's start with the one I like the least. Uh, here we go. Yeah, don't really like him that much. But despite this, I would still put him as one of the kings with the sheer amount of quality and quantity that Hiryu has produced. His works are like fine gems that you can't take your eyes off of with the amount of glory and praise it's gotten. And every time it is available, you gotta do yourself the favor of at least holding it in your hand at least once. My favorites include the Ayane's Son Next Door series and 267270, which is my first ever scenery sauce that I fell in love with because they're just way too iconic and I just love the story. But now I see creators like Makina talking about some hero works and calling him goaded. And I gotta say that is pretty bold. Considering that Hiryu has created some pretty bang average works and the Jinshis that are just straight up creepy, which made it really hard for me to put Hiryu on the list. But alas, bias aside, I think Hiryu has done too much to not make the list and at the end of the day, I gotta respect Makina's opinion. Except for his opinion on MILFs, go fuck yourself. Now the next up is my personal favorite out of the three and that is Shoji Nigo. Man, I love him so much. Truly an underrated goat and a silent hero in the holy world, but read anything from him and you know what I'm talking about. My favorite thing about Shoji Nigo's works is that the action scenes in them are not completely necessary. I love reading this artist from time to time just because of the sheer amount of wholesomeness and good storytelling that they've managed to tell in a limited amount of pages. My favorites including 383121, the Hatsujo Moon Moon Massage series, 356111, 409866. All of these are 10 out of 10s. Yep, you heard that right. Me, Henty PhD graduate who barely gives scores to Dojins higher than a 9 out of 10, gave all four of these a perfect masterpiece score of 10 out of 10. Every single one of these deserve their own individual videos, and I swear to god I'm gonna fucking do it. Especially 356111, which is one of the cutest ways to end a story in not just cultured works, but in anything I've ever seen. I just can't help but fall in love with this artist. And apart from these four, the rest are almost just as good with 9.5 out of 10s and the lowest being a 9 out of 10. Except for this one. I don't really like this one. But the only downside about Shoji Nigo is that there's just not enough. Every time a new one is published, it's a banger, but the problem is they just don't create a lot, which is a blessing and a curse at the same time. So finally, I'm making way who I think have both of those worlds combined and deserve the crown of best vanilla artists, here we are. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Dusty Miller, Linaria, Himono Elf, Please Don't Tease Me Tachibana-san, Be Brave. Hey, she kinda looks familiar. Drunken Flower, there are just way too many to talk about in terms of iconicness. And the range is immaculate. Hiria pretty much covers every trope that you can think of in a wholesome doujin. Most importantly, MILFs, childhood friends, Gyaru, muscles, dark skin, tomboy dark skin, and fucking hand holding? Um, hello? 
This doujin artist literally made a doujin about uncensored hand holding. And of course, I've mentioned this before, but Dusty Miller is one of my favorite, not just wholesome works, but one of my favorite doujins of all time, making me really love Hiria and look forward to any new release from him. But I do have to talk about his past. If you look deeper past the mountains of wholesome stuff that Hiryo's made, you can see that there are some kinda questionable content, but I'm willing to look past it because of the sheer amount and quality of their vanilla stuff because it's just too unbeatable. Which is why artists like Danimaru couldn't make it to the list. Danimaru has made an NTR with a Shoda. And a lot of girls who are evil or just straight up hoes. And they just don't have enough wholesome stuff to erase or make up for this degeneracy. Same goes to Suruga Kuroitsu, Simon and Siokaki not being popular enough, Kurihara Kenshiro, who is pretty close. But there was just one doujin that I absolutely hate that I can't bring myself to put him in there. So overall, these are who I think are the true pillars of adorable diabetic fluff that deserve the title of the Three Kings of Vanilla. And that's it. That's the entire video. It's taken me months to make this just because I can't choose which ones are my favorite. But uh, obviously, go check their Patreon uh, if, if you want a full version of this. And um, yeah, and yeah, I, I don't think I have anything left to say. So yeah, this has been your boy Henty PG Graduate. And I'm out.